What's up everybody, Justin Sardi here. I wanna make a real quick video explaining a couple of the new updates that Google has made to their YouTube ad uh, campaign setup process. There's some really cool ones uh, and let's just dig right in and I'll show you exactly what those are. So um, we're over here in my Google Ads account and first thing, as you can see, um, video enhancements. Now this is something that they've had for a while here um, before it was just like hey get video enhancements cool um, but what this is doing now is there's two different options you can get shorter versions of your ad generated um, by google so they're basically going to like just shorten your video i haven't played around with this this is the new one they just added um, basically, that's going to make it so your ad can run as a short, right? So that's a pretty cool thing there. Um, so you can turn that on or off under video enhancements. Uh, and the other one is vertical and square versions of your video generated by Google. You can turn both those off, but you can kind of check them out, see what's going to happen. Basically, this is going to um, like zoom and crop your videos, things like that. Um, you know, previously you couldn't really see these. Uh, you couldn't just like see what they were producing uh, that might have changed. I literally just saw this I got to play around with these I have been turning these off personally but um, that that is a pretty cool um, new thing that they just rolled out and you can check that out here now the next one this is one that I'm really excited about um, this is like when you're setting up your ad um, these are responsive ads they're both shown as uh, in stream and in feed ads but you can now test multiple calls to action. Uh, in order to do this previously, you had to take the same video uh, and, and like swap it around. And so, you know, your call to action is like that, that button that's like sign up, it's, it's right here, this is what it looks like. So basically you can add up to five calls to action and they're gonna swap those out. Um, and and uh, you, know, you can actually do not just for calls to action, um, you can add them for, you know, you can like sign up, start now. Um, they have a bunch of pre-done ones in here, like, you know, subscribe, apply, donate, whatever it might be. Um, and then we got the headlines over here. You can add five different headlines of your choice. You can split test those. Long headlines, you can split test five different long headlines and five different descriptions. Um, and I'm under the impression, I have, because again, I have not tested this yet, I need to. Um, this is a brand new thing that just got rolled out. But I'm pretty sure what you can do is um, you, you fill all these out and Google's gonna rotate them out like they do on their other ads and they're gonna find the best performing one for you and apply that. So that this is on campaigns with a goal. It's gonna go through and do that um, and then basically you, know, you can uh, duplicate your ads here um, and you can have multiple ads with your multiple calls to action, all that good stuff and you can split test your ads, your calls to action, your headlines, all that good stuff and really figure out what's working the best. So this is a really exciting update that they've rolled out. Um, again, I, I have to play with this. I'll, I'll give you some updates shortly on what exactly everything is, uh, like what it all looks like, how all that shows, you know, what the analytics are actually looking like. Um, Cause I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure this is something that we just got in our account, um, you know, over the past week or so. So I'm not sure what this is gonna look like in the analytics. Um, usually what you can kind of see in your analytics, um, we'll dig into that in the next video, is they will show you things like, um, they're called ad assets. So these are all assets in your video ad and you can actually look at your assets and you can see which assets are getting which results and I'm pretty sure what's gonna happen uh, it's, it's been that way in the past is each of your calls to action will show up as an asset and you'll be able to see the stats for those and you'll be able to actually determine what's going on so um, more to come on that I just wanted to give you a quick update I recommend everybody plays around with this if you have campaigns up and running uh, maybe duplicate those test some of these new calls to action, test some of these um, headlines, you know, test these things and really see what's gonna get you the best results. Uh, a lot of times those things can make a big difference in your campaigns, right? Uh, and then the last thing I wanna talk about is synthetic content. Um, basically, you have to disclose if it has uh, synthetic content that's been digitally altered or generated uh, and inauthentically depicts real or realistic people or events, right? So basically, are you deep faking people? You gotta tell them if you are. Um, this particular account does um, have verified election advertising on it, because um, that used to be a workaround for using uh, 
using custom audiences. So we actually got that turned on for this account. So I'm not sure if this is showing up in everybody's account, but um, you know, this is also something that, that has shown up. So um, pretty cool updates that they're definitely, um, you know, embracing that, hey, AI is here. Um, this is something you need to pay attention to. Uh, but but ultimately, I think my biggest takeaway, my favorite thing here is the headline, the long headline, the call to action, uh, split testing. I think that's awesome. Uh, and then obviously, you know, these these video enhancements. I don't know. I'd personally prefer to crop my videos myself if I'm going to be using them, uh, and also make shorter versions. Like a lot of these ads, I don't know how they're going to be able to take exactly what I'm saying and condense it into 30 seconds if I can't even do that. So we'll see. But um, just wanted to get that out to everybody, show you some of these updates that are going on and uh, definitely play around with these. Check them out. And uh, that is it for me on this video. And as always, if you are looking for an awesome way to um, create high converting video ads, Check out videoadvault.com. Uh, we have over one, almost almost 1.8 million unique YouTube ads and counting. Uh, we have a bunch of AI features built into Video Ad Vault as well. This thing will literally script your ads for you and make sure that uh, you have the highest converting ad possible. It'll write scripts, rewrite scripts, model scripts, summarize scripts. Uh, one of the things I've been using this for a lot, um, you know, split testing the uh, calls to action and everything is great, but what's even better is split testing your hooks. So you can actually like load, you know, here's one of my tube sift ads right here. I can load this up and I can say, hey, suggest me um, new ideas for video hooks. I can have that happen and this will analyze my script and spit out four different hooks that I can use in addition to my original hook. And then I have five video ads that are unique, have awesome hooks that uh, I get to test. And you know, this software does it all for me. So that is all on the pro plan right there. Um, you know, Video Ad Vault Pro Plan, it's 137 a month. I definitely recommend checking that out. Here's like the, the top four hooks that I can try out. And then I can basically just take those from my original ad, delete my initial hook, swap the new ones out, and I then have five ads that I can work with. So um, check it out, videoadvault.com, and that is it for me on this video. Bye for now.